If you want to know how you can make the RB Battles game teleporters in Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make it. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own RB Battles game teleporter. So how that works, in the RB Battles game, uh, as you can see on screen right now, you can jump into a portal, and your character gets uh, go, goes to the back a little bit, and then you can press G or K, and K is cancelled, so if you press K, you're going to drop down, and if you press G, you're going to go straight into the portal, straight to the other game. That is exactly what we're going to be recreating today in Roblox Studio. So if you're as excited as I am for this, then make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you want to to my channel, hit that red button to make it become gray and then turn on the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload this epic content if you want to more of this just subscribe and hit that bell if you want to become a member you can do that by pressing the blue join button down below even though I don't think it's blue anymore I think it's gray now but you'll find it anyway so without further ado let's hop right into the tutorial so newbie how do we set this up Great question. First of all, we are going to publish this game to Roblox. So we're gonna, I'm gonna call this tutorial, RB battles game teleport, LOL XD, whatever. Team create off because I don't want team create. It's gonna relaunch my studio. I'm just gonna click create, and it's gonna make the game for me. Okay. Now in the description there is a link, and you want to get that link, and then you want to get the model from it. So in the description there's a Roblox.com link. Click on it, press get on the model, and then head back to Roblox Studio. Okay, you're back. Awesome. You're doing good. Click on View, then go to Toolbox over here, and then press on the four blocks over here, Inventory. Yep, there you go, Inventory. Click on that, and then you'll see all of your models. We're going to need the RB Battles Teleporter Newbie. So, three scripts. You just click OK. Okay, you want to position them a little bit more, like that, or else it's going to a little bit glitch. Uh, let, let's see, because you need to jump for them to work. Okay, like that. I think this is pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, like this. Now we want to open it, and you will see animations, replicated storage, server script service, start to geo workspace, notes, whatever. So we're gonna put them first. So workspace goes into workspace. Start to GUI goes into start to GUI. Server script service goes into server script service. Replicated storage and replicated storage and animations is a little bit. Uh, th th that's an exclusion. Hold on. So if we press on notes, we need to publish the game. Now we need to enable third-party teleport. So we're going to go over here to home. We're going to go on game settings. We're going to go to security. And then enable uh, allow third-party teleports. Just, you can ignore this because there's not really much that can be exploited. But just click save. Okay, now we did that. And then upload animations and use your own ID. Okay. We're going to delete this real quick. Now if you open the storage GUI GUI and then go to client... You'll see an empty script, doesn't matter. But you'll see two animations. And there are already some IDs in it, but you you cannot use my IDs. Do not use my IDs, because it will not work for you. But that's why I gave you uh, two animations. So this is the idle animation. So we're going to do this. We're going to click Save to Roblox. And we're going to do Idle RBB. Why not? RBB. Then click Submit. And then get that ID over here. 12068821. That's my ID. So I'm going to click on this, the clipboard. I'm going to go to idle, and I'm going to paste it in. Like that. And now it's different. So now, RB Battles enter animation. Same story, save to Roblox. Uh, enter RBB. Submit. And then click on the clipboard again. You can now delete all of this. And now we can go to enter, and then we can paste our ID. One last thing before we start. In the teleporters, there will be three teleporters with ID here. So you want to go to roblox.com, you want to go to your favorite game, and then copy the ID at the top. So this is going to be jailbreak, so just do that. Now I'm going to quickly get another game off screen on my second monitor. I'm going to get aircraft carrier for this one. And then, oh, because this is, because this is an RB Battles Roblox game, uh, I'll, I'll also get the RB Battles actual event game. I'm going to paste that over here. And the funny thing about this system, if you want more... 
So for example, I got a beast farm simulator in my clipboard. You could just copy this, boom, duplicate it, paste it next to it, and then change the ID to the beast farm simulator one. So this is everything you need to do. This is this is how easy it is. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Uh, this is Phantom Forces. The ID is this. We can just copy this, paste it to the side, and then the ID to Phantom Forces. Because the script will do the rest. Now we will be coding it. We're first of all going to be coding the server script. And then we're going to go to the client script. So uh, if you can't keep up, if you have trouble, if you have any errors, join the Discord server down below. There's a link, discord.gg slash newbyyt. Um, yeah, just join it, and then we'll, uh, my team and I will gladly help you out in the Discord. So, enjoy the tutorial, and make sure you keep up. Good luck. So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You have done absolutely great. You are magnificent. And now we have entered the recap section. And what I'm going to be doing, I will be explaining briefly what the code does. First of all, the server script. 
variables. This is literally, you can just guess that. Uh, if the player joins, we're going to give them a bool value, a true or false. And we're going to call that debounce. And debounce means like a little bit of cooldown. Uh, when the RB teleport remote event gets fired, we're going to check if the argument is nothing. And if it's nothing, then we're going to do nothing. If the argument is teleport, then we will teleport the player to uh, one of these IDs, with, with the, the one they're in. And we're going to teleport the player, of course. If the argument is on anchor, so if they canceled it, we're going to just let them move around again. And then after two seconds, they can enter the teleporter again. Uh, this is when the game literally starts. We're going to loop through all of the teleporters. And you will see image part. We're going to set the images of the, these blank images to the game icons. And then we will set... Uh, oh, let me switch. Um, and then we will set the name. So this over here, the labels. To the game names. So if this one is jailbreak, it's going to say jailbreak at the top. If you touch uh, the teleporters, uh, we're going to check if you're a player. If you are a player, we're going to check if you have a, a cooldown. And if you do not have a cooldown... What we're going to be doing is we're going to give you a cooldown. We're going to block you from moving. And we're going to tween you to the teleport part. The client. It's kind of a duplicated case. Uh, when you join the game, we're going to load up some animations. Uh, some variables. And then uh, if the RB teleports uh, remote event gets fired to the client. What we're going to be doing. If there's no argument, we're going to do nothing. If the argument is tween, we're going to set our teleporter to part.parent. Which is the teleporter, which is this model over here, one of these. Oh, not supposed to do that. We're going to be tweening your humanoid root part uh, in front of the teleporter. And we're going to give the little effect which shows um, on uh, the teleporter. And then you can press cancel or go. Uh, if you press go, then we're going to disable everything. We're going to give you an animation. We're going to tell the server to teleport. We're going to tween your humanoid root part to uh the end part so to the teleporter you're gonna go from this over here you're gonna go boom, boom like that and then you're gonna get automatically teleported and we're gonna give you a black screen uh just because that's cool if you cancel it we're gonna uh disable the cancel and go we're gonna disable we're gonna uh, stop the animation and we're just gonna remove the effect the, the, the you know the thing that uh, comes around the portal we're just gonna disable that and then we're gonna tell the server to unanchor so you can move again uh, this is just if you click the button, so this is if you press uh, a key, so G or K. And this is if you press on the actual buttons, uh, like on, on your screen, so it does the actual same. And then when you join the game, we're going to make the, um, eff uh, the effect parts, so the parts that go rotating around the portal. We're going to always let them rotate, but what we do in the script, we just make them visible. So that was the recap section, this is what the code does. Now we are going to be playtesting this, so I'm going to publish this, and then let's hop into a real game. So now I'm loading into my own game. So, okay, as you can see, joining servers. Okay, and if we rotate, as you can see, it's taking a little bit of time to load in. As you can see, we got Phantom Forces, Jailbreak, uh, RB Battles, Aircraft Carrier, and Beast Swarm Simulator. So I want to play Beast Swarm, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to jump. Hope I can reach it, and I can't. <clears throat> so let's retry that I placed them a little bit lower now joining server we're gonna immediately turn around boom they all loaded in jailbreak RB battles aircraft carrier B swarm no errors we're gonna keep this next to us okay like that okay so I want to play B swarm so I'm gonna jump boom we get tweened as you can see we are now flying and we can either cancel it or go into the game but I now nah, I maybe want to play phantom forces I'm gonna click cancel K three two one K and everything disappears. So, and I want to play. I said Phantom Forces, I think. Yep. We're going to go Phantom Forces. We're going to go over here. Boom. As you can see, we get tweened over here. It's going to rotate the portal. And then, eh. I kind of want to play Jailbreak. Uh, so, let's go over here. Boom, Jailbreak. Uh, let me just go long again. Like that. But, nah. I'm just going to go Beast Swarm. Because Beast Swarm loads in pretty quickly. So, Beast Swarm. Boom. And then, 3, 2, 1, G. Boom. Animation plays. Black screen. And we're going to get teleported right now. As you can see, we teleported to Beast Swarm Simulator by uh, Onet, or Onet, whatever you want to call them. And as you can see, we are now loading into Beast Swarm Simulator. As you can see, I have loaded into Beast Swarm Simulator. So now I can get this. I lost my uh, 
thingy. So now to prove this actually also worked for other games, we're gonna go to jailbreak, boom, we're gonna do this, spam G, boom, and we're gonna load it to jailbreak immediately, boom, as you can see, jailbreak, jailbreak is the goat game, I love jailbreak. Just as you can see, this is how you make an RB Battles teleporter in Roblox Studio, so if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it, and if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video, because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, don't do it. Uh, become a member, join the Discord, do anything you want. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.